I just want to cook some steak using this meat. Uh, I'm new to cooking, I don't know how to do it myself. And I need a step-by-step -step guide. Okay, I can help you with that. First, it looks like the meat you have there is frozen, is that correct? Yes, that's right. Gemini 2.0 Flash can help you cook some meat, so let's talk. Yesterday, Google revealed its upcoming AI projects based on Gemini 2.0 from Project Astra that can help you explore the world around you, to Project Mariner that can complete tasks on your behalf, or Gemini for games to help you get around challenging situations, and more. All these projects are under development, but thankfully you can get early access to some of them today at aistudio.google.com. And the one that grabbed my attention is called Stream Real Time. This one is based on Gemini 2.0 Flash. It gives you a real-time help either by talking, using your camera or screen sharing. So it sees what you see and guide you through accordingly. In today's video, I will give you a real hands-on experience in three different scenarios to give you an idea about what's coming next. So let's jump in. So here I have the AI Studio website set to the live stream feature and I'm gonna use the camera to get some help cooking a meal. So let's see how it works. Here I will start the camera. Hi Gemini. Gemini, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help you today? I just want to cook some steak using this meat. Uh, I'm new to cooking, I don't know how to do it myself. And I need a step-by-step -step guide. Okay, I can help you with that. First, it looks like the meat you have there is frozen, is that correct? Yeah. All right, then before we can cook it, we need to defrost the meat. The safest way to do that is in the refrigerator, which can take several hours. Would you like instructions on how to do that? Uh, but I have a microwave. Can I do it in the microwave? Yes, yeah, you can use a microwave to defrost the meat. It is definitely faster. However, it is important to follow the microwave's instructions to prevent the meat from partially cooking or getting too hot. Would you like to proceed with that method? Yes, please. I have the microwave over here. Uh, this is the control panel. Uh, can you tell me what I need to press? All right, it seems your microwave has a turbo defrost option. So first you'll need to place the meat in the microwave. Then press the turbo defrost button, which is located right under the micro power button on your microwave's control panel. This will defrost your meat for one minute, which might be enough, but it will depend on the thickness of your meat. And we may need to repeat the process a couple of times. Do you have any questions before proceeding? No, go ahead. Okay, so place the meat in the microwave then press the turbo defrost button and let me know how it goes after one minute. Okay, let's say I defrosted the meat already. Uh, what's the temperature and duration I need to set on my air fryer? Okay, now that your meat is defrosted, we can move on to cooking it in the air fryer. Generally, for chicken thighs like you have, you should set the air fryer to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 25 But this minutes. is beef, not, uh, not a chicken. This is beef. Ah, uh, my mistake. Since it's beef, you should set the air fryer to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and then cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Do you have any further questions? Uh, do I need to put any uh, spices on it? That is a good question. You can put spices on it before cooking or not. It's up to you and your preferences. If you would like to add some, common options for beef are salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, or even a steak seasoning blend. Would you like to know how to prepare the beef before putting it in the air fryer? Yes, please. Okay, before placing the beef in the air fryer, it is a good idea to pat it dry with a paper towel. This will help it to get a nice crust. Then, you can season it with your choice of spices on both sides. Do you have any questions about that? No, I think that's enough for today. Okay, sounds good. Let me know if you have any more questions about your cooking process later. Thank you. In the cooking scenario, it did one mistake thinking that I want to cook chicken thighs rather than beef, but overall I was really impressed by the outcome, especially when it guided me on how to use the microwave by just showing it the buttons. Now let's move on to the next one. So here's another scenario, this time I need some help to wash my white polo shirt, so let's ask Gemini. Hi Gemini, uh, I'm trying to wash this white polo shirt, but I don't want to mess things up. 
I see some instructions here, but I don't know what they mean. And uh, I'm going to wash it in the washing machine. So can you help me uh, tell me the correct way sure, to do this? Help. Sure. According to the label, you should machine wash the shirt with cold water and with similar colors. It also says not to iron the decorations. Okay. So here is my washing machine. Uh, can you tell me the best settings I need to choose? Given the shirt label says to wash with cold water, the Eco 20 degrees Celsius setting is your best option. Okay, and uh, do you know how much uh, uh, solution I need to put? I'm not able to advise on the amount of detergent you should use in your washing machine. However, there is usually a dispenser in the washing machine where you add the detergent and it will likely have markings to guide you on how much to use, depending on the load size. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for your help. Again, this one was very smooth. Now let's try it on the PC and I will ask it to help me in editing one of my videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. I need to edit one of my videos and I need to do a certain task. Uh, so let me share my screen uh, to show you what I'm doing. Okay, I understand. Please share your screen and I will do my best to assist you. Now I want to add drop shadow to the text on the screen. Can you see it? Yes, I see the screen. You want to add a drop shadow to the text. I can help you with that. In the effects control panel, you should be able to add a drop shadow effect to the text layer you've selected. Look for the drop shadow option under the effect category. Uh, I don't see under the effect controls panel anything called the drop shadow. Do I need to add it first? You're right, right, my apologies. You need to add the effect first. In the effects panel to the left, search for drop shadow and then drag and drop it onto your text layer. Then, in the, the effects control panel, panel is also not visible on the screen. How can I open it? Okay, I understand. The effects panel is not visible on your screen. To open it, go to the window menu at the top and then select effects. This should make the effects panel visible for you. Oh yes, now I see it. Do I need to search for the effect? Yeah, yes. now I found it. Now that you can see dropped it over the layer. So how can I adjust the values? Now that you have the drop shadow effect applied, you can adjust its properties in the effect controls panel where you were before. You should now see the drop shadow parameters there, allowing you to adjust the distance, angle, opacity, and other settings. Uh, so far, it didn't make much of a difference. So can you give me better values to make it more visible? Okay, I can help with that. Try increasing the distance value to around 10 or 15, the opacity to around 75, and the softness to around 10 to make the drop shadow more noticeable. Also, make sure that the shadow color is contrasting well with the text. Okay, I think I started to see some difference. Uh, so, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Thanks so much for your help. You're very welcome. Glad I could help. Let me know if you need anything else. The last scenario was just mind-blowing. Imagine you want to learn coding or editing and you have a private instructor that can answer your questions and guide you through the steps completely free of a charge. I think training centers should be worried. So here are my final thoughts. If you still think that the AI will not rule the world, you better think again. Because this kind of technology will reshape the world in many ways, but let's hope for the best. So that's it for today and please let me know what do you think in the comments. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.